Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Fabric video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to perform data integration from Fabric Clickhouse to Snowflake Warehouse using the pipeline. Therefore, let's get started. I've got the same article that shows how we can perform the whole data integration on my LinkedIn account, but let's see how we can do the same thing in this video presentation. I'm going to head over to the Snowflake website. So in the signup.snowflake.com, you can actually start your 30 day free Snowflake trial, which includes $400 worth of free usage. Just pump in your names, your last name, your email address, your company, your role, your country, and then select continue. You're going to land in this second page that's going to ask you to choose your Snowflake edition from the standard enterprise to business criticals, just to one of them. And then you're required to choose one of these three service cloud providers from Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services to Google Cloud Platform. So you can choose any one of them and then choose the region and then play from the target. Now when you click on the get started, you're gonna get an email that's gonna ask you to authenticate your account. You have to you're gonna get your username and of course you're gonna get your personalized url of course you have to put in your design when you want to sign up your account so that's all been done for me so i'm going to come to this next page in the app.snowflake.com it's just like apps.powerbi.com so basically i have databases and then the worksheet now the worksheet allows you to write and execute queries against the databases so i'm going to come under this database we have these two objects the snowflake and snowflake sample data so basically i want to create my own warehouse so i've got the script create warehouse fabric wh so i'm going to just click in it and then press control enter to run there we go warehouse fabric wh successfully created i'm going to come to the create database fabric db control enter to run again database successfully created now i want to use that newly created database so you click on this control enter use fabric db there we go statement executed successfully and then we'll create a schema so control enter in the create schema fabric schema there we go schema successfully created and then we can use that schema so run this statement executed successfully and then we'll create this sales table now in the sales table we're going to have some columns we have the order date products payment type units price and the sales amount okay so i'm going to go ahead and execute the creation of the table there we go table sales successfully created lovely now we can go back to the microsoft fabric platform which is cool got this a to z of warehouse workspace and of course i've got this copy to s3 lake house and of course i've got these two dead tables the data from sql and sales data to copy to s3 now we actually want to ingest or integrate this sales data to copy table across and of course we have the same number of columns the order date the product payment type units price and the sales amount so what do we do next i'm going to call at the bottom and switch to the same engineering workload and then we want to go on and create a data pipeline so once you're done with the name of the main pipeline click on create okay the pipeline has been created so we can go on and build data pipeline to organize and move our data between workspaces and of course externally so in order to make it easier i'm going to use this copy data assistant to open that and then in this window we have choose the data source so i'm going to scroll down and choose link out and click on next and then i actually want to pick from one of the existing link out so click on this drop down i want to pick from this copy to s3 and then click on next and then in the connect to data source so we can see the root folder tables or even files so we actually want to focus on the tables root folder so i want to access this sales data to copy to s3 and then we can see the preview of the data which is quite lovely and then click on next and then for the choose data destination i will actually scroll down and select snowflake database so click on that and choose next and then we can go on and use an existing connection if you have one but i'm going to share we can create a new connection so click on new connection 
and the first we need to provide is the server name so now when you sign up you're going to get this cup snowflake it's going to continue your username and of course your dedicated login url which is almost the same thing as the server name so i'm going to copy this without the https so i'm going to go back and then i'm going to copy the server control v to paste and then for the warehouse so i'm going to come here quickly so we just created this new fabric wh warehouse so copy that and then i'm going to paste here okay now this is going to pick my credentials automatically but we won't actually create a new connection so click on this drop down and then i'm going to choose hey connection and then we can give name for the connection but i'm just going to leave it okay now for the authentication kind it's going to be snowflake and then for the username again in the email received i have this username so i'm ready so i'm going to continue to paste and then i'm going to type in the password i used when i signed up so and then once you're done click on next all right so in this intermediate window we have this um, connection and of course we can go on and test the connection to be sure everything is working fine amazing connection successful well done so we can click on this database drop down and i want to pick from the fabric db database we just create it and then click on the next and then we want to go on and choose the table from the database from the table drop down i've selected this fabric schema dot self table and then we can see the color mapping we can check around the source columns and then the data types and then we have the destination and then the data types so everything is fine thus far click on next and then for the settings now the enable staging is really required for this team to work so this is must be checked and of course for the data store type we're actually focusing on the workspace so click on next and then we have the review and save so we can see the copy summary we can see the source the connection name the table name and then we have the staging and then for the destination we have the connection name and then the table name fabric schema dot sales so everything is done you can scroll down for the options you can start data transfer immediately or later this is fine we'll start immediately so once you're done click on save and run okay so there we go you can see the pipeline is running and just gonna wait for maybe some a couple of minutes to see the activity status amazing the activity status is successful so you can see it succeeded this is pretty fine so we can go back to the snowflake and now after we created the database and of course the schema of course we can see it in the object so i'm going to click on this ellipsis and refresh there we go so we have the public db database i click on this to expand and then we have the public schema the default schema and of course we have the fabric schema we created so i'm going to click on that and then we can see the tables and then we have the sales so let's go ahead and query the table so i'm going to write a simple select star from sales table and then we can control enter to run and then we can wait amazing so we have all the tables in the fabric database in our snowflake so again i'm going to come to the data pipeline and everything is looking good this is basically how we can integrate data from fabric leak house to snowflake warehouse using data pipeline i trust you in this video if you do share with your friends comment and give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching bye for now